This week's Two Minute Tuesday is on the subject of acoustic attenuation. We're going to look at an attenuator and we're going to discuss the role they play in smoke ventilation systems. The unit behind me is an acoustic attenuator. Essentially, its role is to reduce noise. It's formed from an outer duct and perforated steel sheet inner tube. Between these two walls, there's a layer of sound attenuating non-combustible mineral wool. The mineral wool is covered with a polyester fabric and perforated steel sheet. This prevents the mineral wool from getting inside the ducting. The unit is engineered to provide noise attenuation at the source of noise, but retain aerodynamic performance at the inlet and the discharge of the fan. There are two kinds of noise that we're talking about here. The first is the noise generated by a fan set on top of a building that travels back down the smoke shaft, potentially disturbing the residents when the system is in environmental mode, undergoing weekly testing, or during six monthly maintenance. The attenuation that stops this type of noise is known as primary attenuation, and the attenuator sits between the fan set and the shaft. The other noise that attenuation seeks to reduce is the noise outside the building, especially where the fan sets are facing other apartments, or if the development is situated in an area where there are noise restrictions, such as Westminster, where sound restrictions for this sort of equipment are very stringent. This type of attenuation is known as secondary attenuation, and the attenuator sits between the fan set and the backdraft damper. If further sound reduction is required, there's an additional level known as pod attenuation. This is where typically a bullet-shaped unit is hung in the middle of the main attenuator, reducing the noise even further. Finally, there's an additional type of attenuation where splitters are introduced. However, this would be overkill for most systems. Whilst every building and borough have their own noise restrictions, it's usual to find primary attenuation on most mechanical smoke ventilation systems and secondary attenuation on high-end departments or where there's environmental ventilation as part of the smoke ventilation system. It's worth bearing in mind that attenuation can increase pressure drop so that fan sizes may have to be increased. Whilst there are many and varied types of attenuation, I hope this gives you a basic insight into what attenuation is and the most common types that you might come across in the smoke ventilation world. As always, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.